in my memory, my grandmother is in her mid-90s. Her eyes are very blue. Very blue. She's a very dainty woman, which is why these legs and wrists. Dainty woman, jeans, then coming from like tall family jeans on the other side, like just stretch those legs. <laughs> Dainty. And not so many words, but very much eye blinking. <laughs> really provoking conversation. <laughs> and what a wonderful thing to ask. This is a wonderful thing to ask someone who doesn't get out much, is what they're dreaming. I'm asking Granny what she's dreaming, and I'm asking her if she's ever dreamt of flying, and she has, and she's dreamt of flying in her father's barber shop, in very Polish Chicago suburb early century and the old light fixtures and the old barber chairs and she was flying now she can't even in this moment of my memory lift herself up in her chair but she has a body memory of flying and we're at the table it's this white plastic topped tablecloth with the whole Grammy altar of the latest cards from grandkids. And out the window is the birds, the bird feeder, the bird seed, the bird poop. This is amazing. The reason this is amazing is because Grammy wouldn't tolerate the birds and the bird feeder and the bird seed and the bird poop throughout her life. Too messy. This is at the end of her life and she, she, her shell cracked open life coming in. My household of origin there as you've heard our dogs on the kitchen table and for most of my life there are mice in the freezer <laughs> why are there mice in the freezer lisa there's also um frozen squirrels in the freezer why are there frozen squirrels in your freezer my friends love the snacks at my house and they Love, don't understand my freezer. <laughs> we have aviaries. We are rehabilitating wildlife. The laundry room is the clinic. The second bathroom is clinic part two. <laughs> the laundry room drawers have um, medicines and towels. I am holding a rabbit in the doctor's office, and my mom is teaching me, hold it tight. It's sick, afraid. If you're sick and afraid, you want to be held tight, secure. Just like, Lisa, slow down. 
You're here, you're safe, you're all right. At Moon Mountain Farm in New Mexico, which some of you visited last night in my piece, there was 16 baby ducklings and there was lavender fields. Baby ducklings, lavender fields, and a whole operation with tomato seedlings, which you'll hear about at some point. But the baby ducklings one day when I was all alone escaped. The wind blew over their pen and looking out the window, all I saw was their little heads popping up over the lavender. So, but I was well trained. Not many people would have known what to do. <laughs> but I did. Get the dogs in the house. Find all the towels you can find, especially the big ones. And I'm out there throwing the towels over the birds, scooping them up, and holding them closely. 